Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Bob here. We're back in um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I was going to say EverQuest, <laughs> but we're not, no. Back in Vampire the Masquerade. And I come to the end of Chinatown. I think this is where you go in where the, the heads of the, the Chinese vampires reside. But what I thought we'd do is I thought we'd, we'd explore Chinatown together, see what we can find. We may find some quests and stuff, but we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll start here. And uh, I do have a good candle. We'll start here and have a look around. Let's see what... Hey, you. You want your fortune red? You give me five dollar, I'll give you a secret Chinese enlightenment. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Five dollar. Okay, okay. Here, there's your cash. Don't open door. Need to hold a witness. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so what can we go into? Kamikaze Zen. Uh, no, we can't go in there because the door's locked. What we'll do, we just go from building to building to see what we can enter. See if there are any quests to do. Anyone to talk to. Um, okay, can't go in there. What we got here? Mao Long Restaurant. Let's give that a go. No, we can't go in there. Okay, not, not an enterable building. Um, oh, ramen. I do like ramen. Let's go and see what's going on here. Deb's back, and she's got a fresh cup of coffee ready to take it into the AM. Holy smokes! In case you didn't know, oh, you're tuned into the Deb okay. Ninety Point KTRK. Um, I'm your lovely hostess. Feel free to There's a Chinese lady here with a sword. That's always worrying as a vampire. Um, let's <laughs> let's see what. I am she. I am not like all the rest, but I have no vengeance I for you. I am deaf. Yet. Okay. Oh, Gamiyuki Eda. I am she, Demon Hunter. Oh, God. I come to this city for the blood of the demon that kill my master. Do not interfere. My revenge will cut through you if it has to. Okay. Uh, what demon? I hunt Henge Yokai. My sensei killed demon that killed my family. And now I take the life of his killer. I follow trail of corpses. Oh, is she Japanese, is she? Okay. Hange Yokai is here, and it will die here. Okay. Hange Yokai is a demon that hides in the skin of man. But it is not man. Okay. I know he is nearby. I don't... I lose its trail. Do you meet Hange Yokai? Uh, no, but I'll... How would I know? You would know one when you see it. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> okay, good luck, kid. If I see it, I'll let you know. I appreciate your concern for my vengeance. Arigato gozaimasu. Do not pity Henge Yokai. It is a bad demon. The kind that make a little girl into hunter. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm sure it's not as easy as that. Um, Nani? They are ghost people. Ghosts and dead person. I do not like Kui Jin. I do not like demons. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Nani? A question? Uh, Hunger Yokai scents smell like... Sakana. Fishes. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe other demons know why. No idea. I can't have a clue. <laughs> okay, so they smell like fish. Money. Thank you. Uh, that's a nice sword. Okay, easy, easy. I'll probably, it's probably a piece. <laughs> Fine, another Money. question. That's it for now. Okay. Um, I'll look out for your demon. Um... Okay. Oh, shh. God damn. Oh, pfft. well, that went well. <laughs> I guess it was stupid to try to break into the door, break into the building. Oh, damn. I wonder if that means that the quest is. Okay. Well, I've still got the quest. Um, maybe if I go back, she will kind of talk to me. Okay. So we've got a quest to look for a demon. That's fine. We will do that at some point. 
Um, let's check <laughs> check out the white cloud, shall we? Got to remember that the demon smells like a fish. I'm not got no idea how, how that's going to help us, but we'll uh, we'll see. Oh look, a, a Chinese, Japanese even. Oh no, Chinese curios curiosity shop. Um, there's something in this door. There is something in this door for everybody. Oh, he's he's, he's got to be the he's got to be the demon, isn't he? Everyone gets what they deserve. Okay, bit cryptic, bit Yoda. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it. Uh, and foolish, he foolish did. thief. Okay, uh huh. When Len returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what oh, happened to Len? There's a moral coming here, isn't there? Um. Are you Lin? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Okay. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. Okay. And the point? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are sadly not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know <laughs> I when harvest. the next high harvest is? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Lin's body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop I hear. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell. Get to the freezer. Okay. A fitting punishment for Lin. So Lin did die. Okay. Uh, lift eyes before his first time. Don't want to steal eyes. I don't know. Um, okay. I knew you would. Okay. What's your story? How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing. Mm, okay. I bet I bet you're that. I bet you're him. Do you smell fishy? No. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. <clears throat> so we've got a quest to <laughs> uh Mr. Ox wants you to harvest eyes, okay. We've got two quests so far. I'm not sure about the eye thing. Um, we can't we can't break in there anyway. And even if we did, I'm sure Mr. Box would probably kill us. Uh, oh, nice incense burner there. Okay, well I think we'll probably get out of here. We've got a quest. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything else of interest. So I, I guess the I guess the Lin Lin is being kept in the um, the ramen noodle uh, or the ramen place that we just came out of. Do you think? Uh, where was that? Just here. Well, let's go and see if. Whoa! God damn it! What the hell happened there? Criminal violation. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god! I'm now being attacked by the police. Great. Um. Let's run. Ouch. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, you know, I've kind of... Things are not going well in Chinatown at the moment, are they? I've made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, I don't quite know what I've done wrong. I think it was probably... I think it was unfortunate. I think it all stemmed from sort of unlocking that door. Which, uh... It's kind of a bit unrealistic, really. You know, she could have just said, look, don't unlock the door. 
She didn't have to whack with her sword. Uh, I don't know if I could do that quest now, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. We'll have to see. I'm not going to reload, you know. I'm just going with whatever, whatever, whatever happens, whatever decision's been made. I'll hide up here until the police, uh, police quiet down a bit. I could probably just sneak, actually, couldn't I? That'd be useful. When the police hunt you, they they do give up eventually. Uh, I think you get a message though when they've uh, when they've stopped. So I'll stay here until they decide to uh, stop. I think. I can still hear their radios. I think that means that they're still kind of looking for you. Okay, cool. Now, was that the was that the ramen place? Because if so, there's a back door. Um, let's get let's get back to it. Oh god damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fine. Right. Okay. So, I th I think that's panic over. Uh, we did. We did commit a crime. Uh, two of the masquerade um, masks are, have been slashed, which is which is a bit of an issue. Uh, hello there. Let's go around the back and see if we can break into. Oh, we can just go in. Okay. I think I might have screwed up that quest with the girl and the demon. What the hell? Okay. No, we can't talk to these guys. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming because they're ne'er do wellers, I, I can kill them without, uh, without sort of breaking anything. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I kind of, so I'm, so I'm stealing eyes now. I kind of feel that my, uh, <laughs> I kind of feel that my, my moral values as a vampire are, are going downhill. Um, all, all just to complete a quest, really. I think. <laughs> but I think I mean you know, oh God, oh God. Okay. <laughs> all in the name of experience and the fact that this Mr. Rocks bloke seems quite interesting. He might help us out. That's pretty disgusting. I've just ripped out someone's eyes. Um, we'll go and drop these off straight away to to Mr. Rocks, and uh, we'll, we'll see what what's, what's going to happen here. Uh, quite often, a lot of the quests in the game have other, you know, there are sort of just other things happen because of it, you know, within the world, than than, uh, than that sort of opposed, sort of, you know, in, 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 if you hadn't have done it, you know, things might be different. I like that uh, nice shiny silver skull. Look at that. You are always okay, Mr. Ox. Here. I've got your eyes. I'm not sure <laughs> if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Mm. <laughs> They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lynn. I might regret this later on. Um. These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. Mm, okay. What you got? Not to involve eyes. <laughs> I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? I kind of got an idea. But why don't you uh, tell me? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need oh, you to place this okay. in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. Hmm. Okay, we'll give that a go. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant the talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a very nice man, are you? <laughs> okay. Um, well, China, t China has a bit depressing at the moment. Any quests? Any quest options I've found so far? Um, <laughs> are ones where you're just not being particularly nice, but you know, I'll go along with it, <laughs> see what happens. It's all experience, isn't it? That's the thing. Um, how much experience has I've got? I've got nine experience, okay, so I'll hang on before I spend that. So, as the bad luck farmer, uh, I'm going to plant some bad luck. 
where haven't we been yet? Can we go in here? No. Nope. Um, not sure what that is. Great big building. Uh, no English text. Okay, so he wants us to go and plant the bad luck in the the in the locker of the Lotus Blossom. Blossom. Uh, Blossom. I think that's just up here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Uh, that's where I climbed up, but I can't jump across. Uh, I guess. I guess this is the only way in. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Can't even pick the lock. Is that right? They keep giving me money as well, which seems like a waste of time. Here's the bad luck talisman. Um, okay. Look, I can't even break in, which is a bit a bit weird. Um, whoa! Sh oh, god damn it! Oh, set me on fire! God damn you! <laughs> wow, she's got a lot of hit points. Oh no, I didn't hit that guy, did I? Oh come on, really? Holy moly's. This is going really badly. I've now got... No, I've only got two strikes against my name still. Okay. Right, so what, what I was going to try and do is go through... So I was going to see if I could get up into the... Um, the Blossom through going underground. But maybe not. Uh, let's see where this goes. Um, no, well, I'm definitely not in the Blossom. Let's go back into the... Uh yeah, so it's, it's uh, things in, in Chinatown have not started off particularly well. Um, I've two criminal violations already. <laughs> uh, I don't think I did much to deserve them, to be honest. Okay, we're in the sewers. Um, I was kind of hoping to come down here and then and then be able to get up into the Lotus Blossom. Um, I don't think that's probably going to be uh, viable. <coughs> um, hmm. Oh, okay, there's a map. Right. Ah, Lotus Blossom, number nine. You are here. Okay, so we uh, actually know what's probably going to happen is we'll come up outside the Lotus Blossom, not not necessarily inside. Uh, you are here. If we go down and take the first left to... You are here. If we go down and take the first left to number nine... Point D. What's this point B? Is this the one? I'm not sure. I think this will probably just bring us outside the Lotus Blossom, though. I don't think it actually will bring you inside. Um, we'll give it a check, though. We'll check it out. Hello. Okay. Uh, God damn, I don't know. That's not a Lotus Blossom, is it? That's a Lotus Blossom there. Yeah. yeah. I definitely can't jump across and get in a window. Right. Is this whole building a Lotus Blossom? Let's check around here. Well, luckily that criminal violation didn't seem to do anything. Uh, I didn't get in trouble for that at all. Um, okay, I can't seem to get in. Where am I? <laughs> oh my God, I'm lost now. Okay, <laughs> I come through to the other side of the uh, uh, 
I'm from the other side of town by looks things. Okay, guys, I think I think I'll end this video here. Uh, we will, when we come back, we will still attempt to get into the Lotus Blossom, see what happens. Um, yeah, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll speak to you again soon.